Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is the country of Iran from is the country of Iran from revolution to nuclear ambition. And of course we have with us to talk about uh, the uh, situation in Iran uh, today, uh, Dr. Leonard Madhu. Uh, Dr. Madhu is an international lawyer and he has been with us on a number of occasions talking about issues dealing with the Middle East as well as uh, Africa. And of course, Dr. Madhu, let me uh, welcome you to the show this morning yeah. and let me sort of explain my hesitation in reference to that because I was almost uh, uh, talking about an earlier show that we did. <laughs> but uh, this is about Iran and uh, this is uh, from uh, the revolution to uh, the uh, nuclear ambition of Iran. And let's uh, have you to start us off, Dr. Madhu, by uh, saying something about uh, the country of, lo uh, of Iran, exactly where it's located and how it uh, happened to be Iran from where it is now. Yes, uh, first of all, thank you for you know, bringing me back to your program. Always a pleasure to be here. Uh, Iran, of course, most people know is in the Middle East, you know, uh, almost the size of Alaska, mm -hmm. maybe a little smaller, maybe a little larger, but it's almost the size of Alaska in, in area. Uh, you know, and uh, with a population of about uh, 70 million mm -hmm. uh, at, the, at the moment, as, as an estimate, mm -hmm. uh, has borders. You know, with several several countries. Uh, Iraq mm -hmm. uh, has borders with uh, Turkmenistan. Mm -hmm. Has borders with uh, the former, you know, Soviet Azerbaijan. Mm -hmm. uh, has uh, uh, borders with Pakistan. Mm -hmm. Has borders with uh, with. Uh, with uh, Afghanistan, mm -hmm. so it's a country that is in the midst of, of all of mm -hmm. all of these countries that are very restive. Mm -hmm. So you can you can understand, you know, what the what the problem is, mm -hmm. and uh, population wise, you know, it's made up with of uh, distinct ethnic and linguistic groups. Mm -hmm. uh, the largest, you know, being Persian, which is about uh, fifty one percent of the population. Mm -hmm. Then you have the Azeris, mm -hmm. those from Azerbaijan are called the Azeris. Mm -hmm. They're about 20, 24, 26 percent of the population. Mm -hmm. Then you have the Kurds, the same Kurds you have in Iraq, mm -hmm. the same Kurds you have in, in Syria, mm -hmm. they're about, about 7 percent. Then you have uh, the Assyrians, mm -hmm. Georgians, uh, Arabs, mm -hmm. you know, making up the, the rest of the population. Mm -hmm. uh, religion wise, a country of about 98 percent Muslim mm -hmm. you know out of these you have about 50 about uh, 89 percent Shiite mm -hmm. Muslims then 9 percent Sunni mm -hmm. Muslims and then you have uh, Christians Baha'is Jews mm -hmm. Zoroastrians and mm -hmm. this made up the remaining mm -hmm. two two percent mm -hmm. you know of the of the population Mm. Of, of, of the country you know so looking at you know the overall population and language and you know religion mm -hmm. you see that this is a country mm -hmm. you know that is not as homogeneous mm -hmm. as, as some people might might think mm -hmm. and this has been a source of some problems you mm -hmm. know for the for the country over, over a long mm -hmm. period of time Politically, you know, the Shah was there until 1979, mm -hmm. you know, when he was uh, overthrown mm -hmm. in, 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 in a revolution. This is the revolution in Iran. Uh, uh, exactly, uh -huh. yes. The Shah was the absolute ruler mm -hmm. of, of Iran until he was toppled, mm -hmm. you know, in, in 1979 by a popular revolution mm -hmm. led by the clerics, mm -hmm. you know, in, in Iran. And what has happened was Prior to, to that time, mm -hmm. you know, 79, you know, the Shah was perceived by the religious establishment in Iran mm -hmm. and other Iranians, you know, as selling out to the West mm -hmm. because of his rapid modernization of mm -hmm. the country. Mm -hmm. uh, before his overthrow, you had almost half a million Iranian students in the United States, mm -hmm. you know, studying mm -hmm. and going back. Mm -hmm. So a whole lot of Iranians felt uncomfortable mm -hmm. that the U.S. was quietly taking over control of the mm -hmm. country. Of course, we call the Shah the policeman of the Middle East at that time, mm -hmm. you know, with the biggest army and, you know, 
Navy, Air Force, in the entire, mm -hmm. you know, Middle East. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So here comes the revolution in 79, inspired by, you know, the clerics. Mm -hmm. By that, I mean the Shiite clerics in Dr. Iran. Dr. let me uh, uh, stop for this first commercial break. I want to stop here because we want to pick up at that revolution when we come back. But the information that you're giving us now in reference to the ethnic uh, uh, layout of uh, Iran sort of is, is made to create uh, in a real sense a real problem. And of course we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short uh, commercial break. Now when we come back. Dr. Leonard Madu.